this problem, we have to evaluate the limit as x approaches infinity of cosinus inverse of x minus ln of x. So we'll start uh, by rewriting um, cosinus inverse of x using the actual definition. So it's actually equal to the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared minus 1. Okay, and that would be cosinus inverse of, of x, and then minus our ln x here, so we have this. And, you know, this, this inverse function is defined, you know, for x greater than or equal to 1. This formula, that's what it holds for, which is fine. You know, we're approaching infinity. We can assume x is, you know, way, way bigger uh, than 1. So now what we can do, maybe, is um, use some properties of logs. Recall, if you have the natural log of a minus the natural log of b, um, this is the natural log of a over b. That's called the quotient rule for logs. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural logarithm of, so this is our a, this piece here. So this is going to go up top. So x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 over, and then b is x. And here is where we're going to use, um, you know, some serious intuition. You can you can do all kinds of algebra, but I feel like the intuition is is a little more important here. So what's happening here? X x here is approaching uh, infinity. So here we have an x, and here we have an x. So what is this? So when x is big, so for big x, okay, for big values of x we have x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 over x. Let's just focus on the inside piece. So the 1 doesn't really matter. So this is approximately equal to x plus the square root of x squared over x. Right? Because if you have 20 million squared minus 1, it doesn't matter. Right? It just, it's insignificant. And this is equal to x plus, well, the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x over x. But x is approaching infinity, so it's positive. So the absolute value of x is x. This is x plus x over x. So this is 2x over x. So this is 2. So for big x, this is approximately 2. This is approaching 2. So this approaches the natural log of 2, and that's the answer. So we didn't have to prove the result. We just had to find it, and I think intuition uh, is important. So decent way of doing the problem. I hope this video has been beneficial to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn some math. Good luck.